watchers welcome to perth watch your horology channel broadcasting from right here in perth western australia today i have the pleasure to feature uh, the inaugural piece the only piece so far from full gear watches uh, now this is a hong kong based company i'm not going to go into uh, any more details about their origins but the unique thing that they are offering is that they are the only customizable watch brand with tritium gas tubes uh, meaning that you can actually choose the colors of the tubes on the various style options that they give so before showing you uh, the watch i ended up with i'm going to just take you quickly through their customizing module right here okay guys so here we have the full gear website yes the world's first customizable gtls watch is indeed what this is i'm just going to go to the forge your watch there really is only one series which is pioneer series now click on forge your watch and this is the module so uh case wise I'm just going to go through the options that they offer you know you can have a pvd case uh or just plain steel uh, next one dial is probably the main thing that makes the difference and these are the options the horizon the navigator which is very much more the flieger dial uh, the night master you know and you can see the price changes there right this is more vintage uh, you know 12 numeral dial and the paragon which is a little bit more of a modern fuel watch style okay so this is really the range of options that you can go for um, the initial right you can choose to add your own initial uh, i think i'm not going to do that and then really the claim to fame is the choice of tubes that you can have so all the different positions you can really go for it and then you can also do your hand colors and it's also not just sword but also arrow hands uh, you can go for different loom on the hands as well as the seconds hand uh, as you may expect there and then of course then you're going to go to the movement you can have a no date movement for a no date dial and of course a date one if you're choosing a date display canvas strap distress letter nato and u.s oil letter are the strap choices i'm not really sure what u.s oil letter is but there you go uh, and then a buckle choice, of course, you'd probably go for PVD if you chose a PVD case. Uh, and then the case back, you can go for, you know, the solid one, or you can go for a display. And you can also add a photo if you want. And this view gets lets you look at the loom choice which you made. After everything is done, you can put it into the cart uh, for the finalized price. And there you go those are the choices that you can have pretty extensive i reckon okay guys so that was the module the watch i chose arrived a week ago and it is in this particular package fairly simple without further ado let's flip it around and take a look at what i came up with all right guys so here we have the package on the table cardboard box uh, it i'm not going to spin it because this does not really spin on this table so in terms of opening it just kind of opens like that and the decorations are pretty good actually you know yes it is all just printed cardboard but this is not bad uh, there is space under here for extra straps and utilities uh, if you ordered them but mine is just in here and this thing is just a bit of warranty and some kind of uh, warnings or instructions what watch did i end up getting there we go this is the full gear which i ended up constructing uh, from that customization platform which i showed you guys uh, so this is the full gear pioneer with paragon dial of course i've gone for plain stainless steel not not the pvd case uh, and i've gone for this canvas strap so in terms of pricing, you might have seen some of the details uh, as I took you through it. Uh, but the base price is 336 USD. Uh, but, you know, you add on uh, any number of things. So $10 if you want a PVD case, $15 if you want the Nightmaster dial, extra $54 for the Paragon dial. And that's kind of fair enough because the Paragon dial does have extra long tubes as well as full tube numerals on the 12 and six position that you can see here $15 extra if you want initials on the dial $15 extra for a leather strap instead of canvas strap uh, and $10 extra for display back uh, $20 on top of that if you wanted to customize it 
with a photo and if you did everything uh, the price goes up to 460 USD for the full hog. This one I only upgraded to the Paragon dial. So this is 390 USD uh, all up for this watch that I customized to my choice. Okay, so first up guys, let's talk about the movement in here, which is of course none other than the Seiko NH35A. All the details uh, down the left hand side of screen here. In this case, the date display is in the usual three o'clock position you know, black writing on white disc, so they haven't swapped it out, but I guess that's okay. It kind of counterbalances uh, the dial fairly reasonably well. In terms of uh, accuracy performance of disc regulation, it's slightly fast at plus 12 seconds per day, but of course that is well within the record accuracy of this movement. All right, talking about uh, the uh, Full Gear Pioneer case here. So you get the same case, uh, your only option is whether it's steel or PVD, uh, depending on uh, your choice. But same case for uh, you know all dial options, that's not different. 43 millimeter case, the bezel is slightly narrower than that at 41.5 millimeters. Thickness is fairly chunky, 14 and a half uh, millimeters in thickness. Uh, 22 millimeter lug width, which is appropriate for this size case with a lug to lug distance, which is fairly substantial at 52 millimeters here. Overall weight, because it is only on canvas strap is 105 grams. So fairly comfortable, even though it is slightly top heavy, thanks to that rather chunky case. Finishing wise, you can see is uh, unfortunately just brushing. So circular brushing on the top, uh, circular brushing on the top of the lugs uh, and, and the bezel. Uh, horizontal brushing on the side, transitioning onto circular brushing on the bottom surface of the lugs as well as circular brushing uh, on that case back there. So it's pretty well done brushing but hey I would have liked to see a little bit of transitions to polish here and there. You know particularly these bevels they could have done it to polish uh, but they haven't done so. Uh, so the case back you can see there fairly nicely stamped with that uh, you know, pilot's helmet. You know, they, they're really going for an aviation theme here. So screw down solid case back. In this case, you can have, of course, a display back if you choose. I like this better. Uh, you know, nice, fairly nice, you know, kind of diamond shaped screw down crown. The water rating they've gone for here is a nice full blooded 200 meter water rating, which means I can take this watch everywhere that I go. Um, you know, and this strap would be fine, you know, underwater as well. Moving on to the dial now. So this is a satin black dial. Printed details, right? All, all the brand stuff, the Paragon wording, uh, the chapter ring on the periphery, it's all printed. Uh, it's got matte white, right? Diamond hands. I guess you could call it sword hands. I think they call it that, but I, I'd rather call this diamond because really it's shaped like a diamond. Uh, it's got a simple stick for the seconds, but of course it's got that loom pip uh, for the embedded T3 tube. So the tritium tubes, uh, embedded at all 12 positions, including full spelt out numerals at the six and 12 o'clock positions, as well as all three hands in this variation here. Loom shot, of course, to let you see how this tritium gas tubes glow so nicely in the dark. And of course, it's not gonna fade on any particular night and it outshines any superluminova after about the first half hour. Right, moving on on top of the dial is a fairly nicely domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating and I think it's you know very very adequate you know, nicely done uh, that sapphire crystal no complaints there as all. Uh, moving on to the strap then this is uh, I've gone for the grey right so stitch grey canvas look at the holes uh, fairly nicely done actually I have to say this is a pretty well done strap, the stitching is definitely tight. Nothing has come loose and you know, kudos to Full Gear for sourcing fairly good stitching. Simple brushed hardware, nothing too fancy there. Right, that's the entire description. Let's pop in on the wrist for a wrist shot for you guys now. And there you go guys, the Full Gear Paragon dial, right? The Pioneer watch with a Paragon dial on my 17 centimeter is it is definitely a chunky watch and that 52 millimeter lug distance is you know very borderline for my wrist which is not very large so remember 14.5 millimeter thickness definitely a degree of top heaviness and chunkiness there and a full 43 millimeter in terms of case diameter and that's how it looks like 
on that canvas strap, which is really one of the better parts of the watch, I have to say. That canvas strap is pretty darn good. So, what do I think are the strengths of this watch? Look, I think you're getting a pretty solid package, right? It's a good case, a very solid case. I just wish it had more finishing. 200 meter water resistant sapphire crystal, you know, a stock standard NH35, but hey, it is a reliable movement and a very nice canvas strap, right? This is what this package gives you. And on top of all that, you get that fun customization process in the only customizable tritium loom watch on the market. I think that is true. I haven't found another example. Let me know if that is a wrong claim. Uh, at the base price of 336, I think it's a pretty, pretty sharp offering. And even if you get the Paragon Dial for 390, still fairly decent, you know, and perhaps they will also discount it now and then. For the only customizable tritium loom watch, not bad, you know, I think this is a fairly compelling buy and you know, something that you can uh, take a look at. What are the weaknesses, right? I think mainly I would say it is too thick and chunky. Uh, this case doesn't actually have to be this thick. It can be thinner. I wished it was maybe like 13 millimeters that can be done. Uh, so that might be, I guess, more desirable overall. Maybe, you know, a millimeter or two narrower on the dial would have been nice as well you know the, the case diameter i mean you know maybe 42 millimeters or even 41 uh probably more desirable to me uh, and then lastly i've mentioned it a bit of varied finishing you know a bit of polish here and there would have been nice to show off a bit of craftsmanship rather than giving all brush surfaces and that's it that's really all i have to say let's flip the camera around now for the wrap up so there you go guys, my review of the Full Gear Pioneer model. Uh, in this case, I chose the Paragon dial because I honestly just thought that was the best looking one uh, to my taste. Let me know uh, what you think about this company, their first model, the Pioneer model, uh, especially if you went ahead and got one from them and what uh, model you particularly chose and made or if you were going to go ahead, what you would choose, what your preferences might be. Look forward to the discussions below. Guys, if you enjoy my videos, do consider subscribing. New content every week, always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me, and as always, I'll catch you guys again next time.